What's up everyone, Frack is here, back with another tutorial on Rust modding. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, if statements, we're going to talk more about hooks, we're also going to talk about arrays, and I also want to go into more detail about how um, passing, passing arguments through uh, functions as well. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a, a simple um, a day night editor. So what we're going to be able to do is do set time. I'm going to set time to like let's say noon, and uh yeah, change change the time to noon. We can do um, let's see, let's set <coughs> day length, and let's do like one. That should be pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, there we go. So the day that that pretty much just told it to make the day one minute. Set night length. We'll do night. 20 seconds. And this is a, a plugin that I made. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do this as well. And now let's go back to day. And day is going to be one minute. But let's go ahead and fix this. Day length. Uh, we'll just set it 200 minutes. See, here we are. So something simple. We're going to make. We're just going to go over how to make this simple plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, re reload the mod because I, I deleted it. Now it's gone, so it should not work anymore because I deleted it from the server. Yeah, see, so it's not working anymore. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So let's see. I'll go ahead and go to the text editor. Go ahead and bring up. Uh, this is the uh, the plugin we worked on yesterday. And we'll leave that there for now. We're going to need a hook called on command. So you're just going to write out function on command. And what this pretty much does is it's checking to see in the chat. If you if you played Rust before, you'll know that uh, you can do on you know, modded servers. You can do slash like get kit slash uh, spawn, you know stuff like that. And this is what this does. It's it's waiting for you to do slash something to the thing. And it has three arguments. It has player it'll give you all the information about the player that called it it gives you the command so like if you do slash get kit get kids uh, pass through here and like earlier we did set time so it would be earlier earlier it have been me and fracas is the player command was set time and then the argument was like 12 when I set it to noon so what we're gonna do here um, this is an if statement Pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the player is an admin, right? Because we don't want any ordinary player to just be able to set the time of the day. And we'll check, and that's what this does is it calls the, or uh, it checks the, the player object and it sees if they're an admin. And if it's true, it will perform the next next statement of code wherever you put right here. And I'll show you how you would know to do player.admin using the uh, jet jetbrains.peak. Uh, application I showed you guys yesterday we can check and see that's bugging out we can check and see um, what what all um, attributes the player object has so go to player it's being super slow for some reason probably because I have like 20 things running right now but uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna check and see. Um, okay, so here here's the admin. So you do player.admin and it tells you bool, which stands for boolean, which is true or false. So when you do player.admin, it's either gonna turn true or false depending on if they're an admin or not, and it checks to see if they're logged into the Archon um, <coughs> Archon uh, console. So let's see, go back to the text editor, and if they are an admin, we can. Um, <clears throat> give them access to the command. So what we're going to do here is make another if statement and we're going to check and see if the command, here's the command variable that's, pa that's passed through um, up here. So let's say it's set time. So let's check and see if it's, uh, if it's equal to set time. Make sure all your brackets are lined up. Make sure you, you type everything properly. Uh, double equal sign is um, it checks to see if these two are equal to each other. One equal sign would be setting this to that uh, command to set time, but instead we're checking to see if they're equal to with two 
two equal signs. So let's go back to um, JetBrains and we need to see how to access the um, the time of the day, right? So, um, okay, here we go. So we have um, world dot time will return you the a float, which which is uh, just a number that uh, has um, a certain amount of decimal points in front of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do. <clears throat> let's see. So we're gonna do world dot time. Okay. And we're gonna set it to the argument that we passed through, right? And this argument is an array, and that's only it's an array because there can be multiple arguments. So let's say for example you wanted to have a command that um, you give an item to a player, so it would be like sl slash give space player space item space um, amount. So in that case you'd have three arguments. In our case we're just gonna have one argument. An array is just uh, it's just a variable that holds multiple values, right? So to access the first value of an array, you just do um, you just do the uh, the variable, and you put it in brackets, and you do do zero to um, to get the, the first value in that array. So pretty much what we have now is I think this will probably work. Okay, so we have a function. Uh, it, that would have been a bug. Okay, function on command so it's, it's a hook and it's sitting there waiting for a player to do slash something and when they do it's gonna um, give you the player information the command they did and the arguments that you, that you did after okay so if player is an admin and if the command is equal to set time then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna set the world time equal to the to the uh, the time that we passed through right so let's go ahead and save it okay so you wanna go to your control panel and you want to delete the old version and then you're going to want to upload the new version and it's going to be it's going to look a little bit different depending on who your server host is but it should be the same same concept it should be pretty self-explanatory find where you saved your uh, your uh, plugin file at and magma mod magma mod upload it Okay, come back to Rust, and you need to be logged into the Archon and do magma dot reload. This will reload your uh, your plugin in real time. So we're gonna do slash set time. We're gonna put it to let's say nine nine a.m. All right, and it, it worked. So let's set it to something at night time. Let's say sixteen. Oh, it's late afternoon. So there's just something there. See, so. So it works, and it's all it's all working through the plugin that we just uploaded. Go ahead and open that back up. So pretty simple. So same concept. Um, we can do something. We can do um, get time as well. So if, and we're gonna put this down here outside of this if statement. So see the checking if they're an admin starts right there, ends right there. Let's do it after that because they don't have to be an admin. We're gonna do um, we're gonna check and see what the time is. What players get time, right? So command is equal equal to get time, Oops. and then put your, put your brackets, and we're gonna do player dot message, and you can see and you can find that you can do that through the through the program we were using earlier uh, dot peak, and we're just gonna pass the argument through it. The current time is world dot time. Right, yeah. So that that looks right. Um, so we're just doing, we're checking to see um, if the command is get time, and if it is, we can uh, tell that player the current time is world .get time, Right. So let's save. All right. Go ahead and delete our old version. Upload it. Okay. And that should be there. Okay, so just to let you know, when you when you upload it originally, it's not gonna work. So get time. Nothing happens, right? So you have to do magma dot reload in the console. And then scroll down. Yeah. So now we do get time. 
the current time is 16 point so let's let's fix that that'll be the last thing we do in this tutorial we're going to our time is equal to math.round well no let's try this um world dot time you know what do you let's try that so we're just setting time to the time variable as world.time save this should work all right there we go current time is 17 so let's set time 10 slash get time it's 10 okay yeah so it's where everything's working properly now I'll just go back to the code and kind of explain what I did here um okay so we're doing on command if command is equal to get time we're gonna set um, this we're gonna declare variable time set it to the world dot time and then we're gonna uh, output it to the pl to the player by using message the current time is math dot round time and we're just running it to the nearest total number so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, in future tutorials, we're gonna get a little bit more, uh, go into more detail. We're gonna um, save some some data to a data store. We're probably gonna go over config files as well. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time.